Hello, everyone. So what we're going to be doing today is showing you guys how to create a window for your shipping container using the free version of SketchUp, the Chromebook version. Um, as you can see right here, these options are grayed out, which is unfortunate because subtract would be really useful. What we'd be able to do is create a rectangle, um, or I guess a cube of some sort, and then we'd be able to put it inside the wall and then subtract the cube from the wall. But <clears throat> SketchUp is not allowing us to do that on the free version. The reason for that is because they want us to pay them money. I've never used Studio, but you don't even own the program. It's over $1,000 just for a year's license. So anyways, um, I'm not asking you guys to do that, obviously. So let's go back into SketchUp. Um, as you can see right here, I've already created a window. But let's go over here to this option, or this version, excuse me. And let's play around with this one. This is hopefully where you're at right now. As you can see, I have this as a group. Instead of working right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this group. And I'm going to move it over here <clears throat> to work with it so I'm not worried about affecting anything else. Um, SketchUp is a little bit overloaded right now. As you can see, it's not quite as smooth as it normally is. Um, that's because I need to clean up this file, but I'll do that after this video is done. So eventually, what we're going to do is we are going to um, move that face back over. So I could go ahead and delete that if I wanted to, and then delete the surface that's behind it. But I'm not going to worry about that <clears throat> right now. So what I could do with this group, I could right-click and edit the group. But instead of doing that, I'm just going to explode it. So once I've exploded it, I can select each piece individually, or each surface. What I was going to have you guys do is create a spreadsheet with each window that you use in order to do a cost analysis. And then you'd have to type in the different dimensions to make your openings. But what I was worried is that would just make you guys not want to put windows in your project. So, I'm not going to do that. Um, eventually, you're going to want to figure out exactly where you want to put these windows. Because it's really important. You obviously don't want a window that you can't see out of. Or maybe you do. It's called a Claire Story window. But anyways, these ribs are going to make our job quite tedious. If I had just a regular wall... Oops, that's not the tool I wanted to use. My job would be a little easier. <clears throat> what did I have to do? Let's create my rectangle. And then I need to create a rectangle on the other side. So I'm going in the red direction until it intersects with that face. And I'm going to do the same thing up here. Red intersect the face, connect both those lines together. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. This will all make sense in a minute. If it doesn't right now, just bear with me. Same thing on the other side. Bam. I'm going to connect this line to that line, and when I orbit around, you can see that I'm actually drawing on that wall right there. So then I just create this shape right here, and I can delete the surface, and now we have a window. So that's the relatively easy way to do it if you can't use the Oops, if you can't use the subtract 
but like I said, the ribs are going to make our life difficult. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and create our first rectangle. I'll go ahead and start there, and I'll go to there, and I'll go down to here, and then the color of our lines is really important here. Whoa, that doesn't look right, does it? So the reason it doesn't look right is because I wasn't paying attention to the color of my lines for the first line. Um, our cardinal directions here are important. We know green is going in that direction. And it's parallel to, our, parallel to our wall. Blue is going in the upward direction. And then red is perpendicular to our green line and parallel with the red line here. So I screwed that up, but it's a good uh, lesson to be paying attention. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go Control-Z, go back with one step. I can also click there, Control-Z again. So let's try that one more time. Now I'm paying attention. Green. And we'll make it a relatively small window. Blue. And then once again, green. And I'll connect from right there to right there. <clears throat> what I'm going to do here, I'm going to select these surfaces and get rid of them. So that would be a fine window if you were in prison. But since we're not, we're going to need to get rid of these two ribs right here. So this is kind of tedious, and I apologize. But this is how we got to do it. OK, that blue diamond that showed up right there, that's SketchUp inferring what it is that I want to do. So the blue diamond is going to hit that spot right there. So in this case, I'm going to go out until the blue diamond appears. Well, maybe. Okay. I don't need the blue diamond. So let's go ahead and move forward without that, just to show you that you can. Okay. So now I've got a line. It's going out into space. I can go ahead and create a new line right here. If I wanted to, I could connect that. Whatever. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to use the intersection. So the intersection of this surface and that surface right there. And I'm going to create a line. Create a line there. And then finally, create a line back there. OK, that's step one. What I can do then <clears throat> is go ahead and delete those surfaces, because we already have the line. That's ultimately what we want. I don't need these extra lines anymore. I could do that same process down here. Another option, since I know that this top part is the same as the bottom part, I could control C, control V, and paste that like there. And actually, I can go ahead and do that all the way around. That's a smarter way of doing it, isn't it? Okay. So now that I have all those lines, I'm going to select from right to left. Once again, right to left selects everything that's touching those um, that rectangle. And if I were to go from left to right, it would only select the things that are inside that rectangle, entirely inside, and nothing's entirely inside that rectangle. Bam. There we have our window. I want to go ahead and close that up. So to close those, oops, didn't do what I wanted to do. Well, ultimately it did. Let's see if we can create a different line that won't close up. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And then do the same thing for the bottom as well. Huh. For whatever reason, it looks like those were already closed, or at least that one was. All right. So that's how you make a window on your shipping container. <clears throat>